Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley and it's going to be another online multiplayer battle. This is going to be a continuation of the best out of three series that we were doing. So quickly this time, it's still going to be against Rome, still be against Parthia, but they switched out Pontus for Egypt. So pretty good idea. And uh, let's go ahead and put this on slow motion just so you can see what, I can, uh, what, the, what the build is coming out at us. So the Egyptians have fielded two of these Egyptian slingers, two Egyptian infantry, two Egyptian pikemen, and more of these Kyrian axemen. So a sort of a medium infantry build, or actually it's just one Egyptian pikeman. So sort of similar to how he built Pontus. More of these hidden troops here. Camel Spearman, who he's hoping will break our cavalry. And then he's going forward with skirmishers. Again, Parthia is riding out with his Sarmatians. We have decided to go for uh, Rome this time, and instead of having the Arverni, we have Swaby with uh, Longbow Hunters, Berserkers up here, Bloodsworn, and then Club Levy, Club Levy, Bloodsworn, and then two of these Noble Riders, I believe. Oh no, Scout Riders. So part of our plan over here was to keep me hidden, so I don't have that many troops. Three or African Pikemen, African Pikemen, and then the Italian Swordsman. And then I had two Cavalry Forces over here with, uh, oh no. Sorry, I keep getting this wrong. Noble Cav, African Pikes, and Balearic Slingers. So the point of this engagement was to draw our enemy into this side. And what we're doing is we're moving in slowly, picking these guys off half a, at a distance. And so what we wanted to do was get them to go around this flank. Now they don't know where I am, but that's exactly what we're trying to do, is draw them into this position right here. Get them in range of my Slingers. This would be the bait to this trap. So as his guys move in, we're, these guys are basically going to stand up, as you can see here get some shots off at his cavalry who are now charging in through here they don't see what's coming so we're gonna get a volley point blank right into them they're gonna respond but uh, as you can see I'm here in the forest so I'll take a couple hits but not that many and what we're doing right now is we're telling all our cavalry right now look at this wheeling behind these cavalry forces right here all the Romans are now pulling out so they're gonna have to stage a desperate retreat but what we're trying to do is just cut them off perfect ambush I had additional cavalry fo forces over here backed up by the Equites, so he's in full retreat right now. We're just trying to cut off as many of these cavalry forces as we can. So look at this, sweeping across the plain, trying to get these guys, and they're all running away from us. So kind of like what we had in last game where we tried to isolate some of the enemy forces, they sort of fell for it again, and it looks like some of our Equites are going to be able to catch a bit of these forces, but they're moving the remainder of their guys up here to force us back. So it looks like at most we'll get one of these units, which is, you know, a decent trade. Uh, however, uh, it would have been better to have more of their forces fall to our uh, the ambush strike that we had. Although what it does expose them to is when they counter charge, as you can see here. I did bring up some of my own skirmishers, Balearic Slingers right here, to help defend our guys. So this is going to be what is allowing us to rally our forces behind because I have uh, spears actually right behind these guys so here you can see the two armies facing off again our cavalry wheeling off and returning from this initial fight so we broke one of their units and in exchange let's take a look at our losses no losses there one loss yep looks like we only lost one horse in that entire exchange and then four of those slingers so I think that's a pretty worthy trade and it has our forces the enemy forces all confused so they sent all their forces here to uh, to contend with this push we had and what we decided to do was push heavily on this side as they were engaged on the other side. Looks like he already lost a couple of these skirmishers. Scout Riders are quick, but they're losing uh, men almost as quickly as well. So we're trying to push on this flank because we forced the opponents to fall back to this flank. That's why we're going to go ahead and push on this side. However, our opponents are being kind of crafty as well. We don't quite know what's in these woods, so they're going to be shifting over the Parthian and the Egyptian cavalry on this front. So our opponents are really liking to rely on this uh, mobile cavalry deployment they've been using it both games and I think it's serving them pretty well we are more infantry heavy which is good because they can't really crack that with their cavalry they need to chip away at us which means we kind of have the advantage the staying power I would say and uh, particularly when we brought Rome uh, you know maybe these aren't the most sturdy men but uh, oh wait I thought we had more Roman troops than that wow these are really really light Roman forces so yeah actually we are extremely um, light on the infantry department. I am basically the only thing that can hold firm at this point with my African pikemen, 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 and then some of these Italian swordsmen. So that's that's it for our heavy infantry. The rest is really light. So I'm liking how this battle is shaping up. It's the other Romans who are facing here who are going to be more heavy. So I take that back. It looks like they have more of the staying power when it comes to their infantry. We have a lot of these lighter troops. 
over on this side we're pushing forward against an entire cavalry wing so there's not much we can do that um, yeah they could almost charge in through here he doesn't have many spears but uh, you know our longbow hunters are coming in to do some more damage however he's picking off some of our uh, units here like the noble riders who are at yeah danger from being you know this is this is a little bit of a dumb move right here facing them this way so they're at danger of losing too many men but these guys longbow hunters are now warding them off the Romans are now pushing through this point right here and what they're trying to do is cut into these uh, Parthian forces right here so we're attacking them in the flank at all points they're gonna go in full-scale retreat the Egyptian cavalry did not get the memo quite yet they're gonna go ahead and charge right into our forces and then wheel about so he uh, delayed for too long they're gonna get a couple shots off I believe against these guys over on this flank, Parthia is going to be trying to charge into my guys with his skirmisher cav. I'm going to move in my own uh, pikeman. So he's not going to get off too many volleys, volleys just a couple kills here and there. But uh, hopefully my Balearics will be able to exchange fire and uh, start whittling down those horses. You'll see some of them start to fall. Same with these uh, camel riders. They're not going to be able to do too much. And now I'm wheeling about with superior cavalry numbers. He can't engage right here, and look at this, a ginormous pincer movement right here. We're pushing our forces through this position, and I have enough cavalry to get around the flanks. All he has is one of these Numidian spears, very weak, so they're getting baited into the center mash up here. The equites are going to get in, bite into these spearmen, however these spearmen are not very heavy. I'm going to finish off this charge right there, attack this Roman bodyguard. So we're sort of committing a lot to this fight right here. Let's go ahead and put this on slow motion. So, a pretty good exchange. You can see the Noble Cav that I had crushed these guys. His own Camel Spearmen are going to be routing. And the bodyguards here are going to be biting the dust. The Roman uh, Cavalry that was sent to the middle did get chewed up by these Eastern Cataphracts here. You can see he's retreating back into my Spearmen. That's a good move to pull these guys into what will, yeah, you can see there, kill them quite easily. My own Mercenary Talon Swordsmen are getting in on the flank from these guys. They should be throwing in some of their uh, Pilla. So I'm getting the best of this uh, engagement, and I do have more of the Roman cavalry um, coming in here, helping me to ward off these guys. However, it looks like yeah, this is going to be a problem because they have a lot more of these guys just standing here. Noble horse uh, archers are going to be picking away at my pikemen. If these guys go, then we have basically no body to hold up against the uh, cavalry hordes and the heavy infantry. So it's very important that I uh, reinforce these guys, or at least force this unit back. You can kind of see that's what I'm doing with my Mercenary Companion Cavalry. These guys are very strong. And, uh, yeah, I'm just making sure to route his guys because, uh, you know, that's the goal of the game. But uh, mostly what I was going to say is I could go ahead and try and attack these guys, but I would get wedged between these Eastern Cataphracts and the Roman troops here. So I'm going to go ahead and do is pull off to this flank here and hope that uh, the remainder of our forces here can mop up this fight as quickly as possible. Over on this flank, we are moving in, and then here is going to be revealed the additional troops that are hiding on the side. This is going to be the Egyptian Cav, and I think what you'll see being deployed on this side is going to be, yep, some Royal Cataphracts, and I believe Chariots are going to come wheeling out of the forest right here. So that's going to be basically the worst thing that could happen to the um, Swaby forces on this side, because Barbarians are generally not equipped to deal with uh, that kind of force. But at this point in time, we're pretty confident that we're going to be able to bear down on this uh, pretty light flank. They don't have many heavy troops, and uh, yeah, we can just tear into these troops uh, with what looks like a pretty heavy infantry uh, focused Swaby force. Back on this side, um, my cavalry are trying to skirt out of here. He's going to try and catch me just like we did with their cavalry before. Um, and now we're cleaning up the fight, fight here, trying to help even it up. I believe at this point the replay is probably a little bugged. Um, I think recently there was a little patch that came into effect and so it looks like some of these units should have otherwise retreated so we're gonna have to deal with that which is uh, rather unfortunate but I think at this point they had probably been routed or they're just standing here exchanging fire I'm not quite sure I'll have to wait and see but like I was saying here we go we're moving up on this flank and let's go ahead and put this on play so aggressive push in here and they're gonna fall back to the woods and they seem to be abandoning their forces here Romans are gonna get the counter charge on here and look at this he charges right straight into my mercy town swords but that's gonna obliterate that unit dropping them down to 30 and now they're gonna start wavering and routing so I do have some of my own slingers doing some shots here these guys seem to be facing the wrong way 
but uh, we'll bear through with this and I, uh, hopefully the replay doesn't become too corrupted. Anyways, I do remember some of this. I did get a counter charge on his guys here and my cavalry are trying to run away from his spears. Here we go. My spears are going to be pushing up on this position. Roman infantry or cavalry here are going to be counter charging and this is what I was telling you about where we get this total cal counter charge. Real counter effects coming through here and they're going to be chasing away these longbow hunters and Bloodsworn are not going to be good enough to soak up this cavalry charge. They're going to just power right through these guys. So there you go. Swaby is actually going to be taking a lot more damage than he had earlier anticipated. Over on this side, we're having a lot of counter charges right through here. My own pikemen are trying to move and engage with these eastern cataphracts. More of these guys are trying to ward off uh, some of these charges here. You can see me reforming to keep his guys at bay. And over here, I'm throwing in kind of the remainder of my men into his own spearmen here. And uh, these Numidians should start routing. I'm going to push these cavalry over here to help ward off Rome on this flank. And now you can say the uh, the Swabies are all out charge mode. So they're going to be going into this uh, line right here. However, he can pull back to his spears which will chew up into these light units. Let's go back to this position right here. I have effectively finished uh, cleanup it on this side of the battlefield. Here we're going to be finishing off these... Uh, yeah, these Numidian Spearmen. My guys here are just holding up the front against his archers, and I'm trying to reform right here. You can see me where I'm positioning my infantry. Going to fall back slowly but surely, get these mercenary Blurg Slingers to pick off some of his infantry at a distance and pull back here. Rome came in and crushed. This is the opponent's Rome. Came in and crushed what forces we had here. So we're going to be falling back, and these, yeah, look at all this. These Roman forces are basically reduced to just uh, these levies, which are pretty shitty, and then some of these auxiliary... Uh, Balearic Slingers, who can do enough damage at a distance, but he's going to have to rely on me, who is a bit more sturdy at this point. Roman Cav coming in. They're going to get chewed up right here. If you want to go and f watch this battle over here, Rome charged in on this flank against these cavalry, or not Rome, the Swaby did, a uh, Noble Riders. They're not going to be doing very well against, look at this, Horse Skirmishers are going to be charging in. And here we go, the Chariots that I was telling you about, they're going to come and clean up this fight and then swoop in around here. We really got to save that uh, side of the battle. Anyways, what we're trying to do at this point is try and reform. Like I said, we don't have much to fall back on, especially with the bulk of the Roman infantry still remaining. And Egypt still positioned right here with enough Slingers to keep us at bay. So we are repositioning, and uh, yeah, they're just finishing off these forces. As I said, this replay is probably corrupted because uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think we ever had units who were as idle as this. Um, because as I said, this is with small armies that were playing this, and so everyone had a uh, you know enough time to do uh, the micro. But here you go, these guys are just tearing right through this entire uh, club levy blob, and they're going to be coming back for more, doing pretty good amount of damage. Yeah, these guys are all starting to feel the pain. But now we're going to be coming in. We do have a decent amount of troops left, however. Um, look at these auxiliary infantry caught up on these cavalry. It's a shame the replay was corrupted. This was a pretty good battle, but uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward. I hope the main engagement that we'll be seeing here will end up being relatively the same. Anyways, we're pushing up slowly but surely. They're going to be reforming. Uh, we have the skirmisher advantage, and over here we're pushing around the flank with these guys. They're kind of trying to avoid these scythe chariots who are cutting through the forces back here and doing a lot of damage. And if they charge right through here to our levies, uh, that's going to be a problem. So he's going to go ahead and target all of this with his cavalry. Sometimes cavalry are good to uh, slow down chariots. So he's going to try and do that. But these guys are going to make a, a bit into... Oh wow, look at all these red arrows. Yeah, they're going to be coming in hoping to obliterate these guys. And uh, enough volleys from those spears is going to hopefully knock down their armor and allow the charge from these guys to finish them off. Anyways, on this flank I did engage with some of my cavalry trying to take out his noble archers um, and here I'm coming in running in with my pikemen. I'm gonna drop my pikes at the last second. Over here he tries to lead a charge with his cataphracts. I believe at the last second they're gonna break. Yep, with that counter charge I'm able to break them. I try and save my Balearic Slingers. They're up to one chevron right there. I'm gonna keep picking apart these Egyptian Slingers um, they have more men than me, I believe, but uh, they're not as elite. Anyways, over here, I had most of my guys uh, killed. These pikemen did, did get here, but uh, kind of at the last moment. The rest of my pikes are going to be moving up, and I'm going to be applying the pressure over here. More of these slingers and other levy troops are going to be moving up, and the cavalry. Over on this flank, we're going to be continuing the, to put the pressure on. 
some of these Roman levies and light troops are caught out over here. If I were them, um, it's kind of hard to say what I would do at this point. They do have a decent amount of infantry, but we have a lot of uh, cavalry and we have a decent amount of skirmishers. So you can see here, any point they move up with their infantry, we can just go ahead and kite backwards. So the initial advantage that they had with their cavalry mobility and skirmishing potential, they kind of lost that. So it's a shame. And now we're kind of going to allow this uh, massive barbarian attack on the flank through the forest to occur. And this is going to be what's going to force these guys into action. And what's nice about this attack through the forest is when we're able to do this, it means that the opponents are not going to get their front-facing skirmishers and slingers to fight them. So uh, this is going to cause a general collapse on this flank and uh, throw them all into disarray. So here we go. My forces are still battered and uh, very low on health. I'm going to be pushing forward on this flank, trying to draw a wedge right through here. And then I'm going to draw back with the rest of my forces, try and deal with these guys who are pulling out. Uh, we do have some of these royal cataphracts causing a lot of damage for us. And uh, this is the main thing that they have going for them, is some of these heavy units on our outskirts we haven't been able to cut down on. Because that's going to completely neuter our ability, as I said, to kite and fall back. Because, uh, of course, the cavalry are going to be quicker than your infantry. So here you go, I'm going to move in to try and intercept with these guys, falling back with my spearmen, and at all times having these Balearic Slingers just chipping away at his forces, especially these pikemen. I don't want to have to deal with these guys just because from a head-on fight, they're going to be very hard to kill. Anyways, the um, Club Levy and other Swaby forces are just doing a lot of damage. They were able to massacre that force, especially these Berserkers. They're just coming in here and wrecking, and I believe they're now going to uh, auto-attack probably these Scythe Chariots, who at this point have been knocked out of the battle, but as I said, again, the replay is corrupted, so it's a shame. Uh, I haven't been having too many issues with that, but I guess if you let a replay sit around for a little while and they have a patch, then this is what happens. But uh, hopefully we get enough cinematics that you can get a sense of how the battle went. Over here, we're just playing with the Egyptian troops. As I said, when they try and chase our more nimble forces, they're just going to be susceptible to uh, baiting and kiting. So look at this. They're going to go ahead and aim for those guys. They're going to pull out some of their stones and just pick away at half of that unit is going to now fall. Another group is now going to be able to turn around and attack them. And then my cavalry are going to chip away at some of his infantry who are lagging behind. So I let his spears run away and then I target his infantry right here, his swordsmen. The rest of my forces are going to fall back, allow... Oh god, this is not going to be good. Yeah, as I, was, as I was trying to say, they're going to allow the barbarians here to help clean up that fight. And that's going to be where the fight ends. I think it timed out at that point. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Sorry for the replay glitches. I'll try and, uh, you know, recap these and record these before uh, <laughs> they get re sort of messed up due to new patches and whatnot. But uh, I recorded this, uh, the battle, actually before exams. Then I had to wait for my exams. And so now those are done. And that's when I decided to sit down and record them. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.